All right, is this thing on? Hi. I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, Griff and uh, the live link uh, setup I have going on here. Wow, that lets it uh, lets me talk and move my head and stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, so right now I'm just doing it really directly, and it's kind of you know it's kind of a mess, but I'll just show this to you. And this is right in my animation blueprint for the character. Here I'm just taking my state machine with the idle states, plugging that into my live link pose, uh, making sure I'm using the right device to capture. Eventually what I'm going to do is probably sort of branch this off and capture uh, the pose and then um, just have this optional. So like if live link isn't present, uh, it doesn't cause an issue. It doesn't actually cause an issue right now, um, but you know I just like things kind of neat and tidy that way. Um, I'm then using the information from live link to move my head and my spine a bit. Uh, just one more note, something I'm going to do actually is add a control rig to this character so I can actually get translation uh, and the legs locked so that if I want to actually move these bones and the legs will still stay locked. I do a lot of stuff here for the head yaw, uh, head roll, head pitch. And all this stuff is captured in the event graph. Uh, this is where I get it. So I get the live link um, pose, and I just break these off into variables. I get the property value for head yaw, head pitch. Break those off into variables. And then I can use those variables here in the anim graph. I'm just doing a little additional uh, addition and subtraction here. Uh, I found that... It helped me get a wider range of motion without um, sort of that, like you might have saw the problem where you're just always kind of looking down or looking up depending on how you tweak these values. So this lets me do that. And then I can actually, once I get like a, a stable sort of zeroed value, I can go ahead and multiply that into some of these channels here. And that's about it. Then I do an additional modify curve. That again just helps me zero things out a little bit. Uh, and you can create this here and it's just basically getting again all the information from the animation curves coming out of live link and opening those up to these um, these uh, connections here so you can like change the float uh, to zero it out basically and maybe it's even better to do that back before you do this head stuff I don't know it's still a work in progress yep then I just go ahead and do all my anim dynamics and junk like that uh, and pump that back into my output pose Something you are going to want to keep your eyes open for, and this has gotten me a few times, like why isn't my live link working? Just make sure you open up your skeletal mesh and that you do see all of these shapes that you have here. Yeah. And if you don't, then under the asset details for your skeletal mesh, if you just type in um, morph up there, you'll see uh, import morph targets. And you're also going to want to make sure that you're pumping those out of you know, into the FBX and so maybe open the source FBX file and just make sure those shapes exist there. Cool. That's about it.